Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I'm hoping this is going to be a big treat. I appreciate you stopping by. This is McKellar Barrel Age Cocoa Shake. 13% Imperial Sap Brew with Cocoa and Aged in Bourbon Whiskey Barrels. Uh, this was sent to me by Rico, and he writes he purchased it. It was $12, sold in singles. He said he didn't see a date anywhere. All he could tell me is that my store just got this in last week. And I just got this package in from uh, from uh, Rico. So uh, hopefully it's a big fresh beer. McKellar does his beers in Denmark and in San Diego. This is the USA version. This is the San Diego edition. Uh, so I don't know if he does this beer over there or not. Uh, but it is a big beer at 13%. Uh, I don't have any IBUs. It says bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with cocoa on untapped. And Beer Advocate uh, says 13%. And only three people have commented on this beer. So uh, basically we got all the information. It does not have a date on the bottom of it that I can see or what he could see. So it's really not super critical unless they've introduced any kind of copy in it. I would like to see them, McKellar is big enough and wealthy enough, he could have a dating machine, at least put the vintage on it, it's a 2018 edition or whatever, and they choose not to. Got a problem with McKellar and his brother Jeppy. Uh, they make great beers, but uh, not beers that I would purchase, uh, even though the, there's probably a lot of 10 beers or 8 beers coming from both of those guys. But... Uh, they're a, little, they're a little arrogant in my, in my opinion. Uh, so it is what it is. It's my personal preference. There's a lot of people who think they make the best beers ever in the world. So uh, I'm not in that. I'm not in that fan group, guys. Uh, but I do appreciate Rico spending his hard-earned money on this. This was not a cheap can of beer to buy, uh, but they do some tasty stuff, guys. But uh, I don't like the arrogance that they, these, these two brothers have. Uh, but that's just my opinion. And, and that in a pitch of sense will get you a cup of coffee at 7-Eleven probably. Or if you're going to Starbucks, you're going to need a whole lot more quarters than that. So let's uh, final beer of the evening. Let's get this 16-ounce can opened up get it into the glass. I'm sure it's probably going to be tasty. I'm hoping anyway. Pitch black coming out of the can. We're going to go straight down the center. Hardly any carbonation at all, guys. And that's, uh, that happens a lot. I'm going to get it all in there. That happens a lot uh, with these bigger ABV beers, especially in the stouts and, and the bourbon barrel stouts. But uh, I, I'm, I'm going to reserve any kind of negative comments, guys. I'm just not a big fan of... Uh, McKellar or uh, Jeppy Evil Twin because uh, I've had some run-ins with uh, with uh, Jeppy and Evil Twin. Not had any with McKellar, but uh, I think these guys are big enough to put a date on them or a vintage on their cans and they choose not to. So, pitch black beer guys to the nose we go. Definitely getting some bourbon notes on there. Smells awesome. Rich roasted malt, caramel toffee, black molasses. Maybe a hint of some chocolate. Especially with this saying cocoa shake on there. Smells tasty, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Uh, 
but it's awesome guys that is absolutely tasty wow <clears throat> wow delicious absolutely freaking delicious guys that is worthy to pick up I'm not gonna lie to you uh, I don't have a big beef with uh, McKellar but I do have one with Jappy an evil twin this is probably worth picking up and evil twin beers are too they're a little pricey so is this both of these guys uh, know how to brew these monster big beers especially in this style and in the, in the stout style and they do they do them very 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 did I say very very well wow that's absolutely awesome guys that is absolutely freaking awesome and like I told you when I read this from him uh, this was a $12 can of beer it's a 13 percenter you got to realize how much more malt and hops and everything bourbon barrels on top of that uh, it takes to produce this beer and get it to the can and get it to where you're going to have it how much time it takes to do that and setting in the bourbon barrels for however long they decided it needed to be before they got to where they wanted uh it costs more to produce those beers guys i just wish mckellar would put a date on it uh, i mean it could just as easily have 2018 vintage on here we would not know if it was done in january or uh this is the uh 12th of november or the middle of the year or or this is a fresh can that was done a month ago. Uh, we don't have that information. It's not that critical on the style of beer. I would just like to have that information in case I had this one and I, I got another one or I had another one if I've done it before to know the difference between the two vintages in case there's a, a difference. But it's just me. It's just my OCD. It's probably not worth mentioning, uh, especially in a 13% barrel age imperial stout. But I like to, I would like to have that information. It's just me though. Well, let me sip on this and uh, let it warm up, and we'll come back and see where it ends up. Very impressive beer right now, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on about thirty minutes or so. Uh, very nice beer, guys. Uh, I enjoyed this thoroughly. Big bourbon notes on it. Uh, very easy drinking for a thirteen percenter. Uh, very well made beer. But my biggest buff says they don't have a vintage on the can telling us it was done in 2016 2017 2018 we have no idea when it was produced it's not a big deal since it's a bourbon barrel aged beer but i would like to see that on there guys uh, i, I, I want to know when this was put in the can in case i want to do a side by side from different years and i don't know if they've done different years or not uh, maybe not maybe so uh, I don't have that information so uh, and McKellar's big enough to do that and they choose not to so I choose not to give them a better grade final joke a very nice a very well made bourbon barrel aged imperial stout definitely worthy of picking up if you have deep pockets this is not a cheap beer to buy, but it is a very tasty beer if you do. Uh, I do think it's an A beer, but since it doesn't have a vintage or a date on it, I'm going to give it an A minus, 90 for me, guys. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, Beer Advocate says it's 3.83 in a very good range. That's their B plus range. I think it's a little better than that. I don't think it's world class or outstanding. A lot of people may disagree with that. Uh, it is very 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 tasty if it had a vintage on it it would probably get to 10 from me uh, it is that well made and being mckellar and not putting some kind of vintage or date on it uh chaps my ass a little bit because they can't afford to do that mckellar is a very wealthy man and uh, now he has two breweries uh, one in denmark he's a vagabond brewery just like his brother jeppy and he brews beers in different places uh, and puts his name on it uh, but he can afford to do this and he chooses not to and I have a big problem with that guys I do have a big problem with that 
Uh, and and y'all has followed me with, especially with the Evil Twin br uh, beers from Jeppy and McKellar. Uh, they do these beers very, very well. Uh, they know how to do it. I just want that information, and when they choose not to give it to me, uh, it rubs me the wrong way. So, uh, uh, that's the grade I'm going to give it. Uh, Beer Advocate has 3.83, like I said, and Untapped has it at 4.22. A numbers from those guys. Uh, I do think it's an A beer, guys. Uh, I do. I'm not going uh, back to where Beer Advocate has it. I think it's a better beer than what they're giving it. And I'm, I'm about where they're at, at uh, Untapped uh, A minus. That's where I'm going to give it. It's it's bare, it's almost to the A category, uh, but not quite to me. But it is a very tasty beer. I just wish these guys at McKellar would date their stuff. Not critical, but I want that information. i got to have it. If you're going to get a 10 from me, it's got to have that information. So a lot of people fuss at me for that, and so be it. Uh, but I want to see that on the can somewhere that they're taking that step and giving us that information. So, if you've had this one from McKellar, this is their Barrel Age Cocoa Shake, uh, the San Diego uh, USA edition from McKellar. Uh, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. <laughs>